in the city of Chester. It was here at Chester that William Penn first landed in what is now Pennsylvania, when in 1682 he came to these shores to take over the land he had received from the King of England. William Penn's arrival at what is now Chester was a very important event. But the John Doe's, the members of the freshman class, think their arrival just as important. They, too, are beginning a new life in a new world. The nearness of the college to Philadelphia's International Airport makes travel by air very convenient for the students coming from a distance. The Pennsylvania Military College is also easily accessible by rail, for the city of Chester is on the main line of the Pennsylvania Railroad. Many freshmen arrive with mother and dad. This gives them, too, an opportunity to meet some of the students who will form a part of their son's college life. PMC encouraged this interest on the part of parents who were invited to many of the functions of the college. Immediately upon arrival, the new students are signed in and escorted to their dormitory rooms. At this time, the new freshman meets his roommate. After lunch, the new cadet is issued his equipment and cadet uniforms. And now the freshman cadet is ready for his first rookie drill, where he will learn the basic movements. He will learn to take orders, and later he will learn to give them. To what end? To develop the essentials of leadership. Leadership not necessarily in the field of military, but in his chosen field of engineering, business, or research. The type of leadership that comes through the development of an individual's initiative, efficiency, and self-control. During his orientation week, the new cadet is introduced to the dean of the faculty and the president of the college. He is welcomed to PMC, and is reminded what is expected of him as a good citizen and a good student. After a military and academic orientation period for the new men, college work begins in earnest. The Pennsylvania Military College is a degree-granting institution, the second oldest of seven military colleges in the United States. Its students receive an academic training throughout a four-year program in liberal arts, sciences, business administration, or engineering. On graduation, qualified students are awarded bachelor's degrees in their areas of concentration. The liberal arts students want as broad a cultural background as possible. They will be majoring in either English or political science for the purpose of preparing for law, teaching, journalism, advertising, or a business career. But the primary aim of this curriculum is to supply cultural resources that will constitute a good foundation for any kind of career, as this field trip to the Philadelphia Art Museum shows. The science division curricula are aimed at providing a basic understanding of the sciences and a training in scientific technique together with a background of the humanities. For these students will pursue advanced scientific study, enter medical or dental school teach science in the secondary school, or take their places in industry or research.
business administration students are hard at work here on a field trip at a Philadelphia investment house where they will get an understanding of accounting, economics, law, and the methods and problems of management in finance and marketing. Future leaders in the business and industrial world are being made here. The students in the engineering division are working for degrees in engineering. Through small classes and a maximum of individual attention, these students are given a thorough training in fundamental sciences, also engineering analysis, design, operation, and the construction of material goods. In addition to the purely academic work, there is the military instruction. The purpose of the ROTC curriculum in military science is to enable the college student to qualify for a commission as second lieutenant in the officer's reserve corps. PMC offers the general military science curriculum. This program is designed to produce junior officers who by their education, training, and inherent qualities are suitable for continued development as officers in the United States Army. PMC is one of the seven military colleges in the country. Any student who meets the requirements may be commissioned as second lieutenant on the day he is graduated from PMC. But there is time for relaxation and good fellowship on equal terms. For the uniform here makes no distinctions. Young men from all economic levels learn to live with each other on a common plane. There is time for dates when that very special girl from home comes down for the junior class weekend. The thrill that comes with seeing her again as you meet her at the steps of Old Main, as the administrative building is affectionately called. Then comes the meeting with the hostess at the fraternity house and a chance to relax a little before the whirl of activity starts. The junior class weekend will be long remembered.